Carolina Fishing TV, showing you how to catch more fish. Good morning folks, welcome to Carolina Fishing TV. I'm on board today with Captain Jeff Wolf down here at, uh, in Wilmington. We actually put in at Carolina Beach today. Um, uh, we're gonna fish the lower Cape Fear River. Captain Jeff Wolf operates Seahawk Inshore Fishing Charters down here, both out of Carolina Beach and Southport. Captain Jeff, how long have you been fishing down here? Um, I'm 48, so since I was about 14 years old. I got you, so um, he's got a lot of time on the water down oh, here. Oh yeah, yeah. I had a boat of my own about I was about 16, and my family did a little clamming. And so that means you were never home? No, never. <laughs> never. I got you. Well, stay tuned to Carolina Fishing TV, hopefully for some good redfish action in the uh, backwaters around uh, Bald Head Island and in Southport. They're on the flat in front of you, in the corner. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, there's a, there's a good pile of fish here. Cool. That's okay. You know what? They're here. They're not out of this creek. They're in this creek. The tide's yeah. going to drop out in a couple hours. So. Okay, rest right there, baby. Stay right there. Got them on. All right. Good job, good job. He hit that, um, that small gulp bait sitting on the bottom. I twisted one mm -hmm. time. She ate. Decent fish, too. Good job, Jeff. Now, I know that sounds odd. It sounds like I'm talking to myself now. Good job, Jeff. You, <laughs> Jeff Wolf. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's going to be confusing. That's a nice redfish. Yeah. February red fishing, Wilmington. Back up in the skinny water. That red fish will be a decent red fish in a tournament too. Look, look at that. That is a pretty red fish. Yes, sir. Mm. He's fat. Yes, sir. Nice and golden. You can tell he's not like those surf reds. Yep. He's just as golden as he can be. Jeff had us on a working up some of these small creeks here, and we've probably I don't know we've moved to a good distance up a creek and about to leave this spot and round to that corner and look down there's probably at least 50 fish in that yeah, school yeah. wasn't there right it's a pretty school of fish it's a little eighth ounce jig head and a little four inch berkeley swim and a, this time of the year when we're fishing uh anywhere up and down the coast some of the last baits that are still available for these fish to eat other than some rooting down and picking some crabs off the bottom are small mud minnows and um that bait that fish just ate was a uh, pretty much an imitation mud minnow. We're gonna we're easing back up some of these creeks. Jeff has uh, he's been tracking some fish this morning. We followed him for a few hundred yards through some of these narrow creeks. Uh, the water temperature is chilly. And, About 46. Uh, 46 degrees. Yeah, he's got a fish right under his bait here. Oh, that's amazing. We're in two and a half foot of water. The fish is just easing under the boat like we're not even here. The jig was right at his mouth, that far from his mouth. Yeah. He didn't show any interest at all. Red drum, just in general, especially shallow water reds. Those fish, when they're sitting on a place and they're comfortable in that location, a the spot they're feeding on and whatnot, and uh, they're willing to eat, you spook them off from that uh, location, and it could literally be just over to the other side of the same channel, or um, just a few yards over in the same bay, and they'll just they can shut down on you and not eat. There they are, right there. there they are right there. Look at them. One, two, there's a mullet behind yeah, a mullet, yeah. There's another, here comes a couple more and some mullets with them. There's two more reds going to the boat. Yeah, they're up here. They got all the mullets they want to eat when they want to eat them. That's cool coming right at you right here. Yeah, look at them. Pups there, a lot of them too. Look at them, come on. This whole school is right here. It just keeps on mudding up. It just mudded along that shore again there. 
and these fish are shutting down on them. You're good. I got it. Yep, gold is fence. Yeah, we're fishing these coves, these muddy bottom coves off these uh, creeks down here. This bottom's really muddy through here and the tide's falling out of the grass. And we're uh, looking for these reds to start pulling out of the grass and uh, kind of patrol this shoreline right here. And we just caught one right here and kind of power pulled down and looking for him. He stole Open. it from me. <laughs> the tide got too high in the creeks back there. Those fish were getting up in the marsh grass. We're just kind of waiting for the tide to fall back out to where the tops of the oyster rocks are showing. And uh, we feel like they're gonna come out of, out of the grass and fall back in some of those holes uh, back in those narrow creeks. A lot of fish around, they were just Early, early morning bite was just kind of tough. Fish were still cold. 32 degrees this morning. Yeah, it was chilly out, so. That is a 10W40 with a lime tail. Kind of a natural color. I think right now down here they're feeding on mud minnows more than anything. The water's dirty. That bait gives so you a good I, transition too, because yeah. it's got a nice dark body for this yep. water right here, but you got that chartreuse tail just swinging yep. back there. Yep. Just a natural color. Yeah. There he is. On. He's got one on, boys. Nice job. Here, come on this side. It didn't take long to bottom that hole, did he? Yep. Right up. It's a rat, I believe. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's a redfish. It's yeah. a redfish in February. <laughs> I got one on. Right. Good deal. Oh, yeah. Good deal. I just got some pups moved back in here. Cool little pups. Multi spot. <laughs> what spots yours got? Man, I win. I know, yours, Three. Yours is bigger and more Three, spots. <laughs> four or five. <laughs> you'll have big schools, you'll have a lot of singles and singles and doubles. What about this time of the year down here? You know, when people hit the water, what are they what can they expect as far as finding redfish? Are they finding big schools of fish? Are they finding is it singles and doubles everywhere? Uh, like that, or? No, this it's probably gonna be at least 15, a dozen of 15 fish, mm -hmm. um, up to 150, 200, 300 fish on the flats. On these little, you know, pockets like in here, um, like this little hole for instance, may, may hold 50 or 60, 70, 80 fish. More than likely you're going to find, when you find some, you're going to find a pile of them. Right, you know? right. Because I know a lot of folks, they tend to give up on it in the wintertime, you know, they yeah. cover a lot of area and they just yep. give up and think there's nothing out there. Yep. So. The reality is there's fish up and down the whole coast. There's fish in the backwaters. You know, these waters now are probably, they're probably two or three degrees up from what they were this morning. Right, you know, yeah. So uh, hopefully they're going to bite for us this afternoon. But we've had so much rain, you know, which is, you know, I think this helps actually, you know, catching the fish, you know, right, the yeah. dirtier water. There's a deer on the shore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. That's right. right. 
Little rat, little pup, little rat. Right up in the middle of the channel. That's trout, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, it did look like <laughs> about a little four inch trout at first. Yeah. That's another little pup there. <laughs> that or they high tailed it. There's one there. Another small one, but that's all right. It's like a different school of fish. Yeah, oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, as we were using around earlier, we've seen some, a lot of big fish in here. At least fish over 20 inches anyway. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're not seeing any fish right now, but we keep on picking up these little 13 to 15 inches. They're in here, we're just waiting for them to work out. Yeah. They're still a nice clean fish though, I'm gonna tell you what. It's good to see this right here, because this is the next couple of years right here, these fish. fish yeah sweet sweet good job it's late afternoon february redfish that's up right on that corner right there. nice one jeff took us up another creek here and he spotted a looked like a school of probably 100 fish or so about 30 feet wide there he's chased him up the embankment 50 yards or so up this embankment and they settled down and disappeared and sure enough he's got one on There he is. All right. Right here. Got a good one. He's right under the boat almost. Oh, yeah. Right. They were laying down in the bottom yeah. of the hole. Yeah. <laughs> we were just joking, and uh, it might have been the reason why. It might not have been the reason why, but a flock of pelicans came over, and three or four of them were dive bombing into the water right in here. Probably some mullets around, but a lot of times that'll spook those fish. Yeah. And they'll, uh, they'll drop into the deeper pocket. And we were just joking. There's a little five foot hole there, and we were, said maybe they dropped into that pocket because those pelicans. And, Toss in there, and sure enough, <laughs> there's one down in there. Good job. Not a bad one. But, man, I'd like to have him in the IFA yeah. here in a couple weeks. <laughs> pretty, pretty stuff. He's a little more silvery than. Yeah, he is. So. Others. Not quite as golden. Pretty redfish, though. I don't know, that's what that's four, five, six, seven. That's about eight or nine nice reds, anyway. Yeah. All different sizes this afternoon. We've been out fishing today. Probably been out about five hours or so. I think we've seen one boat fishing. Yeah. We've seen yeah, one yeah, boat fishing yeah. anywhere throughout these areas. And um, on a Saturday. That's it. Jeff's obviously uh, spent some time looking around here. He's had us on one, two, three, four, probably four different places today. They're all holding redfish. Um, some of them we've seen and couldn't get them to eat. It was real cold. And, and uh, some of them we haven't seen and, and we've got some yeah. strikes off them. So definitely a good. A good wintertime red drum fishery down here. These are kind of split up. That was definitely a fish right there. Pushed to our right. There he is. The there he is. Sweet. Good job, man. Good job. Man, as soon as I catch back up, you got to do that to me again, <laughs> Jeff. You're making me look bad. Oh, he came off. It came off. <laughs> yeah, look at the boil there in the water where he came oh, off. That and felt there like was a, nice the rest of them were moving forward there. Yeah. I saw right when you hooked up, some were moving forward there. Right there to the left of my rod. Got like a good fish too. Yeah. They like a little better one. Typically what size jig heads are you using for weight? A uh, quarter ounce. Mostly what I use. Mm -hmm. Now see, and, uh, and that's something, you know, a lot of the folks hear us talking on the show all the time back up in the you know further north where we're fishing. They always hear us talking about a you know an eighth of an ounce, a sixteenth of an ounce. His creeks have got deep water in them. I mean, even this creek right here, dead low tide is three or four foot of water. A little more and, uh, current. Yeah, a lot more current he's dealing with. If you're sitting in four or five foot of water out here in these creeks down south, and you've got a sixteenth of an ounce jig head, you're not tending bottom. Or you have to work the bait so slow you can't cover any ground. So um, he's been throwing a quarter ounce, and I actually stepped up to almost a quarter ounce now myself. And um, when we first came back up this creek, he banged a couple fish out, and I wasn't catching anything. And, 
and um, you know I had to step up my my weight a little bit, and now I'm finally catching a few. So. And I'll even go to a half ounce Deep. sometimes off of you know a real steep embankment where yeah. it drops down to eight feet. And we would and, do that, and we do that up in the northern part of the state too. But for us. A lot of our deep water is our main uh, connecting channels yeah. you know, through the marsh systems to get to the inlet. Yeah, no, I'm talking about when the you know the currents, you know, currents moving right. pretty hard. That's why I use them a half ounce. Or, or on the flats when it's hard to to get close enough to them, you got to make a super long cast. Yeah, yeah. and uh, they're feeding heavily that time of year. You know, normally right down that hole again, smaller fish. Yeah, sure. yeah a little smaller one. A little rat. That's all right. Some fun stuff. Some Fish. Fun stuff. It's a fish on the 20th of February. It's all about numbers, man. I'm going to catch back <laughs> up to you. <laughs> we got you. This next year's uh, 20 inches. Right. Massive schools. There's three schools here. Look, there's another school behind us. They're solid the whole top of this shoal. This is amazing. We're heading back to the dock and Jeff says we've got to stop and check one more place and we've got seven, 75 yards wide here, schools of redfish in here. Look at them pushing headwater right back here off the stern of the boat. A lot of fish here, Jeff. There's a lot. You've got hundreds of fish in this school. Okay, I'm coming to you. I'm going to put the power pole down. We've got to sit here for a minute. Hit that in the school, you're gonna snag one. Look at that. There's um, that's 200 fish right there. I mean, that, that's a load right there. Eat that bait. He's on it. Oh no, he tried to eat the cork. He tried to eat the cork. Come on now. Where's my top water bait at? Come on. Yeah, there's one on there. We're staring at these reds for like 10 minutes now. He's got he's got us around. Look at this, folks. Look at this. He's got a, probably a, you know, 150, 200 reds right there under that uh, bait he just tossed. There's probably three schools in here between 100 and 200 fish per school. And uh, they're spooked. I mean, what are they in? Four inches of water up there? They're in four or five inches of water, and they didn't want to hit. So we just had to put a, one of those mud mins on we hadn't really used today and set it up around that mud flat. Sure enough, one hit it. Not a bad redfish. Not, not as big as some of the ones in that school there, though. There's some big tails I've seen pop up. There's about, there's about a 21, 22 incher. 31. Another nice, clean. Clean looking fish. There's a pod down there. Moving left. <clears throat> yeah, I guess looking back at it, when the water was deeper up around those oyster rocks and stuff, they could have been, you know, those rocks right in there. Uh, where did, were those boys at? Where did they go? They, they were they were behind those yeah, rocks back yeah, in that corner. Yeah. They could have been pushed up in there. I don't know, they didn't seem too excited. They didn't seem like they were on fish though. Yeah. Yep, they're under the cork. Oh, they were under the cork the whole time. He, one would have picked it up any second if I left it alone. <music> Folks, it was actually a really good day. Yeah, you know, we started out, out with cold temperatures this morning. Um, Jeff said probably by this afternoon with the, you know, the weather warmed up when we get on some fish. And, and um, I appreciate it. It was a great yeah, job man. today. Yeah. If you folks have, if you haven't met Jeff already, Jeff Wolf, uh, Seahawk Inshore Fishing Charters out of uh, both Carolina Beach, Southport, runs out of both areas. Give him a shout if you're looking for a trip down this way. If you want to get some more information about Jeff, I want you to log onto the website at carolinafishingtv.com, and uh, there's a link on there for the Preferred Guides program. So, is how much longer you expect? Is this all winter? This, this oh yeah, type of fishing? yeah, yeah, oh yeah, all winter into the summer. And, um, you know, yeah. I mean, this is some amazing schools of fish for the wintertime down here. Yeah, on a, um, on a summer day, we're having a really good time out of these schools right here. 
on yeah, these flats, top water plugs. And... We're sitting in February. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just got done looking at three schools yeah. right here on this mud flat from 100 to 200 fish per school. And they can be finicky, you know, they're going to be yeah. finicky, I'm sure, you know, and that's part of it. But that's yeah. more of a challenge that makes it that more exciting when you do hook them up. So. Yeah, laying there in about four inches of water. Uh, that was amazing today from the little narrow ditches and stuff we're in, seeing fish shoot underneath the boat to these mud flats out here like this. It's, uh, it's just really good to see that fishery flourish down here. Yeah, it's really good. We appreciate it. Yeah, Excellent man. job. I appreciate today. it. There you go.